Well, it's tournament time, which means it doesn't matter how. It doesn't matter by how many. What matters is survive in advance. And that was Liberty in quarterfinal action tonight. A-Sun Coach of the Year, Richie McKay. Player of the Year, Caleb Holmesley. Getting ready to go against NJIT. A-Sun quarter, Scotty James going to work. Double-double, 11 points, 10 boards. Later, Caleb Holmesley driving in the paint. And one, Flames up by 11, under six to go in the half. Second half, Elijah Cuffey to Holmesley for the hoedown throwdown. Silencing those Highlanders, he had 14. And JIT closing in at the end. Zach Cooks pays the toll, gets the roll. 17 points for him, but Liberty clamps down and prevails in a low-scoring defensive affair. Survive in advance, 55-49 your final. Our own Brooke Leonard has more. Liberty scoring under 60 points hasn't happened since January, but tonight in the ASUN quarterfinals, NJIT's defense did just that. They held the Flames to only 37% shooting from the field. I'm, I just want to win the game, so uh, I knew it was going to be tough. I thought there was uh, segments. There were segments in the game where I felt like we were about to break it open, and uh, NJIT, I think, did a good job of uh, making it hard for us, but. I like our group, uh, we, again, we have an experienced team that we're 40 minutes away from playing the final for the third consecutive year. So the same thing we do every every game. I just you know we try to make you know be hard to play against no matter who we play. And on to the semifinals, the Flames will go. They'll take on Stetson back here in the Vine Center on Thursday at 7 p.m. in Lynchburg. I'm Brooke Leonard, 10 Sports. Thanks, Brooke. And here are those semifinal matchups. Again, Stetson at Liberty and Lipscomb barely squeaked one by tonight against Florida Gulf Coast. They will take on North Florida.